All right. Before we move on to the resolution, there's a couple things I need to wrap up with sex. Uh, let's see. And that is uh, a couple things I, I left out. Um, I'll start with uh, some of the some of the more uh, darker things. So, womenist men and women, uh, they're both capable of uh, effectively uh, mind reading. It's not really mind reading. What it really is is uh, it's best guess. But um, yeah, they'll they'll do that to um, uh, make assumptions about you based on uh, any interactions they had or anything uh, that they can possibly connect to you. They they will best guess. They will best guess, and that's effectively uh, it. It comes off as mind reading. It's not exactly, but yeah. All right. I figured I'd point that out because some people might, you know, wonder what the fuck is going on when uh, they're being, uh, yeah. Okay, and the next thing is, uh, all right. So back in status, we talked about you know society and uh, you know current society. Uh, essentially, you know, sets everything for evil, right? Well, um, so animals, uh, a pregnant animal has a lot of hormones, right? So, uh, hormones in animals, uh, pre pregnant animals, uh, it amplifies the animal's behaviors, right? So, if you take a woman that's set for evil, and you make her pregnant, that's going to amplify the evil, right? So what I'm saying is, uh, pregnant women in current society, uh, at times you will see that they can be the ultimate evil. Uh, yeah, just putting that out there as well. Alright, and... Okay... And here's another thing. This is really important for uh, for sex. I mean, it's 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 huge. It's huge. So I'm surprised I almost left this out, but it's it's huge, especially for real men. This is something that you know they might have difficulty with, and this is something that they need to get a handle on because if they don't get a handle on this, uh, it can mean not uh, scoring the date or whatever, right? So. Uh, essentially, this is a mentality thing. Um, you have to really, um, I wouldn't necessarily say believe. I mean, I, I don't know if, if, if you'd have to believe in this, but you definitely have to do this. Uh, you have to do this. Um, and it probably wouldn't hurt to believe believe it a little as well while you're doing it. So, um, you know, there, there's no hard feelings at all. Because as, as I already established, women don't give a fuck. Alright, so... What it is is uh, you need to have the you need to have uh, the girls at the bottom of your list, right? You know your priority list, at least until she loves you, right? Uh, yeah, not not your priority. Live your life, enjoy yourself, no strings attached, all right? Until she attaches strings. If you make plans with her, plan other stuff. If she flakes, you do other stuff. If she's late. You do other stuff. Fuck her. Talk with other girls. Until she locks you down, you are free to do whatever you want. And she had, uh, and she has only locked you down when she truly loves you. So even if she does, you know, try to hold you down and stuff, or, you know, attach strings, until she actually loves you, uh, yeah, don't, don't make it all for mood, alright? Don't 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 go head over heels until she's truly head over heels. That's that's what I'm getting at. And I'm I'm being like it's 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 huge. Like you know, don't don't get fixated on on any one girl until uh 
you've been locked down by a girl that you're 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 interested in that you're attracted to and you know you share uh you, you know you have things in common and stuff like that right i'm saying that you you like her right and um you can see a future with her that's what i'm saying so when she when that when that one tries to lock you down and you know when when she's making those uh making those advances to you all right so i think i've beaten that horse enough it's not a dead one it's a live one <laughs> it's it's a big deal um okay uh, da, 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 da. Now we're gonna move on to the resolution. This is the home stretch. Um, da, 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 da. Shouldn't be half as long as those other ones. Just, just give me one second. Okay. Now let's see what do we need to cover. All right. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Mm, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I say a true society will be an enabler for true humanity. All right, the truth. All right, the world is effectively unified right now, but things aren't set right. Um, and if things aren't set right, if the card is not unearthed, the world will always be a house greatly divided. People will only be able to take the bullshit for so long. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is one of my favorite uh, quotes. If you're making, I, I actually came up with this quote. It's one of my favorite ones. It goes, "If you're making things worse, you're not making things better." All right. And it says this phrase applies directly to women and womenist men programmed by current society that is set for evil. This is always active and always applies to them. In a true society, things may be different. We can we can determine this when we get there. I I doubt it'll be anywhere in the near future okay okay and here's another thing um, is that you know because earlier I talked about um, real men uh, human animals womenist men right uh, women and um, I also talked about natural animals Okay, um, so this is something I'm going to touch on, right? It's, it's pretty important. It's fairly important. Uh, yes, we all do have the very basic animal functions, but not like this. We are all creatures cut from a similar cloth. We are all, we we are quite different from the common animal. However, we have a nervous system, fears, hungers, desires, whatever. This entire system, right? You know, current society, right? The, it, current society. This entire system is based on exploiting our most basic animal functions to control us. Remember, treateth as animals, becometh as animals.
this system doesn't recommend becoming hum animal humans. It forces the human animals into becoming animal humans. This is wrong on many levels. None of us are animals at our core. We are not animals. We are human beings. Okay, and now I'll go on to uh, some of the more um, advanced things. Okay, so this is a uh, it's a very old writing of mine, and that is okay. Organics are constantly subject to critical degeneration, whereas in response, organics were designed to constantly produce offspring. Therefore, to prevent critical degeneration due to overproduction, organics were designed to naturally dissolve versus organics being designed to attempt indefinite retention of composition. In conclusion, organics were designed with everything in mind. The reasoning behind Better yet, the answer to most of your questions regarding life is simply put as measures taken to prevent extinction. Alright. Now, here we're going to some high theory. wrap things up okay alright so one thing I'm gonna address is time right so uh, the universe is scientifically deterministic time is not a dimension events are not stored Time is a device, right? It's a it's merely a comparison of events, nothing more, nothing less. It's like uh it's like a computer or a or a, or a ruler. It's not an actual phenomena. All right, and continuing on. Okay, so. All right, so something seen in nature is, uh, you know, animals and the differences, right? So animals where the male and female are very similar there are other differences right so with human males and females you know apart from genitalia uh... It comes with the um... With, with the cognitive thought processes which i've already covered earlier regarding the women is men the men and the women right so uh... now in the resolution i'm going to refer to it as uh, the the real men, uh, the thought process is is a simple simple process, right? The womenist men is a semi semi complex process, and women uh, their thought process is a complex thought process. Okay, uh, you know, so for 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 semi complex thought processes just it, it's a hybrid between the uh the man and woman thought process so that's how that'll be addressed all right so all right and real men will just be regarded as man right all right so man uh they're they're concerned with purpose the meaning of things women are concerned with what it does what it is 
and children uh, uh, they're essentially um, given you know I identity as a child right uh, they're basically given knowledge right they're concerned with what something is what it is what it empirically is right okay so yeah, yeah man looks to find the, the purpose and meaning of things women you know find out what things do what things are and you know together uh, man and woman find you know the truth uh, let's see Yeah, so these are some uh, old uh, age arguments um, generated, and uh, the male argument, you know, controls the directions of humans. Uh, the woman argument controls the flow of humans. Uh, okay, intelligence is the ability to generate uh, progress. No, there was one more thing I wanted to cover. All right. Um. Yeah. So here's something additional. Uh. Okay. So. Uh. Man can take advantage of both the male and uh, woman arguments except uh, the male argument is primary for the hybrid the uh, semi-complex thought process uh, can take advantage of both uh, male and you know female arguments however the female argument is primary for the uh, semi-complex thought process and for women can only use the woman argument however can emulate the male argument only via brute force, so it's never a, a true um, argument when made by a woman. Okay. And let's say that is all. Yeah. Um uh, I'll have to say something cuz of the long pause. Okay, so here's the general laws of memory. I came up with this a while back. Uh I've I've done fairly well, so I I guess it holds true. But um Yeah, the other thing is that Oh no, I I found something additional. But I'll, I'll get to that in one second. So, the three laws of memory. A, a good pointer, if you need to memorize a lot of stuff, is if you um, record yourself saying it, and then you listen to it while you do other stuff, that'll help a lot. <laughs> it's, it works wonders. Alright, so, three general laws of memory. Uh, one, it is impossible to remember that of which is not known. Two, recollection. Memory is based on association, mental information databasing. Uh, three, the rate of recall is proportional to the frequency of recollection times the total number of recalls. I didn't read that right. <laughs> the rate of recall is proportional to the frequency of recollection times the total number of recalls. All right. So that's it.
and as the percent error of recall approaches zero, the accuracy of recall approaches 100%. Okay, so oh, it looks like I stumbled on something else too. Oh, this talks about the blank slate. All right. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. This is interesting stuff. So human intelligence, wisdom, knowledge, etc. Uh, humans are born with a blank slate, except for the double E prom in BIOS. Uh, so as far as human phenomena is concerned, somebody has to come up with something for there to be something. Multiple people can independently come up with with the same thing. Independent discovery. Uh, wisdom, intelligence, knowledge. All right, and yes, and as said, said that men and women are born equal for all all knowledge. Uh, however, their specialization for intelligence is as follows. Man is objective based, planning, system, macroscopic, big picture. Women are task based, functional, component, microscopic, with respect to the phenomena. Yeah. Personally I just say that, that men are partial to intelligence and women are partial to wisdom. And that wraps up the resolution. Thank you.